Hello, this is Shane McCabe down here at Nissan of Cookville giving you a walk around here on your new Pro 4X. Uh, just wanted to show this off in a video because I think pictures do great, but it doesn't do any justice. Uh, having this Pro 4X on this blue color is absolutely my favorite color combination. I think it just makes everything pop that little bit more. Uh, and it's kind of hard to see with uh, just the way lights come up on camera, but these LEDs here in the front, absolutely stunning. It just has such a premium look to it. And then coming around here, you get the red tow hooks. We just got the covers on them right now. The red Nissan badging, which is super nice. And then uh, coming up over here to show you, you got these little circles that are around here. And then you also have them on the front there and on that side. Those are gonna be some sensors. If you get close to uh, anything in the front, it'll start beeping at you, let you know. Same thing with those in the back. And then you have the awesome Pro 4X rims on here. Again, adds to the aesthetic in total and just makes it look so much more beefy and aggressive you get the titan boards which is super nice with that uh, reddish orange titan labeling there as well and come through the back i forgot to point this out here uh, you do get the pro 4x mud flaps down there as well and then on the back also there and then coming to the back this is probably one of my favorite uh styling designs that they do is having this little strip on the back that says the pro 4x um, it just adds to it again i'm uh, i'm a little bit thrown by these cars just because of how nice they look um, and then also the price that they go for too it's just you get so much bang for the buck in these things uh, you do have the tow hitch there as well as the pin connectors for anything that you'd be towing there as well and then let me just unlock this all the way so it does have a locking uh, tailgate here as well. And then to drop that, it's got auto dampening. So there's no weight or resistance for it coming down. So one, it's gonna save uh, just wear and tear wise on these a ton. And then for two, if you are doing any sort of work, it's a little bit easier to do it one handed or not have to put things down. And just all in all, just the weight of moving it is super nice that there's none associated with it. Now you do get these uh, silver bits that go all the way around there. That's your Utilitrack system. There's little cleats you could put in there. So instead of having to just use the normal tie down spots um, and having to get all creative to tie down whatever it is you're putting in there, you could put those cleats in a multitude of different places and uh, just make it a little bit easier for that use, which is nice. Uh, right here, you do have the outlet right there. And then let me shut this back up. Again, doing it one-handed, way easier having everything set up that way. Um, and then you do have this little Titan step here. Folds right down just so it's a little bit easier to get up into the truck and uh, use that bed or for anything work-wise. And then let me put that back up there. You do get the uh, sliding rear uh, window there as well. And then right up at the top, there's a bed light. When you do hit that, uh, it'll illuminate down into the back. So if you're doing any work at night, uh, makes it much easier coming over here to the door you do have these little buttons on the driver and passenger door this is going to be a easy in and out system essentially so if you have the key on you and the car was locked hit that button it'll then unlock it vice versa if it's unlocked get out hit that button it will then lock it from there you do have a little symbol right there kind of hard to see but that's your blind spot monitors that is on both of the mirrors so that if somebody is in that blind spot it'll let you know and then Right above my finger, there's a little triangle. What that little triangle does, that's going to be gauging uh, data out in front of you. It's a camera that's constantly going. Uh, that's gonna do a couple different things. One, it's going to help for uh, like intelligent cruise control. That's what it uses for there, lane keeping. Also has pedestrian detection, uh, which has facial recognition. So if you're driving through like a school zone, somebody runs out in front of you and you just didn't happen to notice it, um, It'll try to do everything it can to stop you. Now, don't rely on that, but it is a feature to be there in case you didn't notice right away. Uh, definitely comes in super, super handy. Over here, you got power locks, windows, mirrors. Um, and I guess I'm going to hop back out and show you this. I forgot to just hop right in because it's raining here. Uh, but you do have the Fender sound system. Super nice. It's like one of the most quality sound systems I've heard. Um, it doesn't drown out any tones when it's really loud. What it does is keeps that really nice depth and tone and pitch to everything. Uh, but you can hear it as clean as day from super far away and nothing gets drowned out, which is nice. Uh, here you do have the illuminated kick plate. So at night when you open up the door, it's just going to be uh, illuminated saying Pro 4X. It's a small thing, but there's full like Facebook pages uh, dedicated to uh, kick plates. So super, super cool stuff there. Uh, fully power adjustable seat here as well. And then you do also have the uh, 
leather on the outside of the seats with then it having the uh, more rugged uh, cloth on the inside as well, which is nice. Here you do have automatic headlights with the uh, fog lights as well. This little one right here, that's going to level your headlights. So if you're towing and squatted down and your lights are pitched straight up, you can make that so that they adjust further down so you're not blinding people and seeing a little bit better out in front of you. This is how you turn everything on for the uh, like those household uh, adapter outlets. And because this is a Pro 4X, you get the electronic locking uh, rear axle as well. And then a downhill descent control. And then coming over here into the back seats, um, again, same styling all the way through. You got that leather with that cloth on the inside and then the orange stitching, which just adds to the aesthetic all the way through. This one here did have the adventure kit as well. So you do get this uh, cool Nissan backpack with some goodies in there. And then you get this one here, uh, which is for like a, a, a medical kit and things like that. Um, in these bags right here, you do have the all weather mats and the regular floor mats in there as well. And then here you do have another one of those household adapters. And then here you do have two fast chargers. So it's going to charge your phone a lot faster than most other vehicles would. That way, if you're using your phone and charging it, it's not like you're just charging it to keep it alive. It's actually going to give it a charge, which is nice. And then here you have the cigarette uh, adapter there for anything that you might want to use that for. Uh, these seats pull right up like this. No effort involved. Uh, once that's up, let me move these out of the way here. You do have this little bit here, which is locking. I'll show that to you here in a minute. So you can lock it right here because there is a little storage underneath to save anything in there. But then if you have these seats up, it still gives you a flat surface for putting anything inside of the back of the truck. And then close that back up and then show you here. So that right there is where you could lock anything underneath, which is nice. Here you have this little pull tab, pull that, goes right back down. There's a little tab you can pull up here to pull that down for anything behind you also got like your uh, uh on the other side is going to be where everything is for the um spare tire kit stuff like that um for like a jack and everything so now hopping back in uh walked you through everything over here on this side here you do have uh windshield washers on the side here shift knob uh where you can put it down into whatever gear you need. And then you do have a plus and a minus mode to manually shift it if you would like to do that as well. And then a tow mode. This here is going to just uh, reduce shift points while you're towing. So like if you're going up a big hill and you were in, you know, fifth gear and it wanted to go to six or something like that, and you're going to just bog it down, this is going to reduce that so it doesn't keep you in a more torquey gear, um, which makes it easier for towing all the way through. Over here on this stuff, um, Pretty much everything here is going to be for your volume up down right there bluetooth functionality these buttons all right here are going to correlate to the screen up in the front to give you any sort of uh information you need about the vehicle and while i'm talking about everything up here on the front there's that little speed limit sign there so that camera that i was telling you about that's up there, that little triangle uh, that is going to read the most recent uh speed sign that it's seen and that way if you're going down a back road that you don't know the uh, speed on uh, this will tell you what it was uh, as long as it was able to read it so there's no more guessing in that side of things here you have your cruise control <clears throat> and this does have intelligent cruise which is this button here um, so if you click this button it's going to go to one bar two bar three bars uh, each bar is essentially a car length and uh, if you set it to let's say two car lengths and 70 miles an hour you're going down the highway um somebody gets in front of you going 60 miles an hour, you're gonna then pace their speed once you're within two car lengths. You don't have to hit the brakes or anything. As soon as they get out of their, your way or you hop over into the other lane and nobody's there, you go right back up to 70. It's super nice because I almost never use my uh, cruise control in my car like ever, uh, just because every single time that I set it, always seems like without a doubt somebody pulls out in front of me and then i just stop using it so if i had a feature like this in my car i'd actually be able to use my cruise control which is nice um, here you have everything for your uh, two-wheel drive four high four low um, you can switch two high four or two-wheel drive to four high um, just by twisting it from there and you give it a minute to fully engage and then you go to four low you just push it in and twist it from there um, now four low i would only recommend you know for like the i i Oh crap moments, you really need to use it. Otherwise, four high should absolutely do the job. And then coming over here, electronic uh, brake controller as well. And then you have a USB-C and a USB-A. Um, what those are gonna be for, again, fast chargers, just like in the back, 
and it's just going to transmit that data a little bit faster and charge your phone faster as well. Um, if you do plan to tow or park this in a garage, you can quickly turn off your park sense. So uh, when you do start backing up, it can get a little bit annoying if something's back there, but you're meaning to go there because uh, it'll just keep beeping at you like crazy. So you can turn those off from there, turn off all your different uh, safety features through here as well. Um, and then for climate control, hit on from here so you can really see it. it does have dual climate. Um, so let's say that this one was up to 88, this one's 75. Um, you can just have it set between both of them however you would want it to be, which is really nice. And then if we press that button, it will sync the two back to each other because we turned off the dual mode. Automatic is really nice. Um, instead of having to choose how much fan or how little fan or how hot, how cold, if you set this number to 75, this is going to work like a thermostat in a house. So it'll just keep you set to 75. So you set it, forget it, never have to worry about messing with it again. And then up here onto this screen, let me just show you for the maps. Um, this does have full navigation built into it here. If you prefer to use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto for any means of uh, navigation through there, you can as well. Otherwise, you do have this built in. No subscription charge to it or anything like that. Once it's in there, you're pretty much good to go. Um, going into the menu button here, everything is touchscreen, which is nice. Just makes it all a little bit easier, pretty much. If you see something and you want to use it, you just click on it and it'll do it. So like audio, we just click on audio brings us up here to show you that you do have Sirius XM. And if we hit source, this is all of the means. So you got AM, FM, Sirius, USB 1, USB 2, Bluetooth audio, the whole nine, just so you can uh, stream music however you would like to do that in there. And then going over here, you got a couple uh, different spots. You could lay a phone in here, things of other, uh, you know, that shape to fit in there. You can take the uh, cup holders out by pulling them out like that and you get a little bit more room. And then you can simply put them back. You also have a couple different positions in there. So if you want these to be more upward, um, you could do that as well. And then going into the middle console, here you can see you got a couple spots for some pens, business cards, or credit cards over here. A little tray, which then comes out and gives you a ton of room. Um, they really don't uh, let any room in these tie-ins not get used, which is nice because there's uh, just no dead space. So everything is usable in that sense. Here you do have your uh, glove box here, which we do have the owner's manual. That's just back at the dealership. This is uh, just in case somebody ever, you know, got into them and took the owner's manual, we'd have to replace them. So we just keep them inside. And then up here, you got a space for sunglasses. This is something I want to mention on these. This space is huge. Most vehicles, you try to use that for any sort of sunglasses, they will not fit for any way that you try to make them fit. This actually gives you plenty of room to where you can use most all sunglasses up there. You do have an SOS button here. This is a part of Nissan Connect. It is a paid subscription service. Uh, most people know this as like an OnStar, where you can hit that if you're in an accident. It'll dial right through to the authorities and, and alert them to what's going on. And then you do have this little button right here that is going to be for your power slider it is nice that this is a power slider because a lot of the times i feel like i would almost never go back there to actually open it if it wasn't powered um, so that actually gives you usability in that sense and then on the mirror here there's a couple different buttons you can program this for a garage door at your house if you do have that um, and then there's one other really small feature that i want to talk to you about real quick on this um, and what that feature is, easy tire fill. Um, so I'm from up north where it gets super cold all the time. And we pretty much live with a, a low tire pressure light on. I actually, my current car that I have right now that I drive has been showing me that for a couple months now. Um, it sucks because you never want to go out and have to fill those tires up in the cold. Um, and then also have to pay attention to, you know, what is the PSI that I'm reading at the gas station or have a tire pressure checker on you and just being prepared, really. So with this, if you leave it in the accessory mode and start to fill your tires, once it gets to the optimal uh, fill that it needs to be at, it's just going to honk the horn and flash the lights to let you know. And then you can move on to that next tire. So um, again, it's a really small feature, but I think it's those small things that really build up to a real big picture of it all. Um, so I always like to note on that. And then I just want to show you the backup camera here real fast. So there is the backup camera. The little blue line that's in the middle is going to help you for lining up uh, anything that you're backing into to be able to tow with, so like get the hitch in the receiver. So um, I think I pointed out most of the stuff here. And in an attempt to not make this video crazy long, uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to let me know. Thank you.